Our long journey up the Alaska Highway into the Yukon Territory presented us with a choice to make when we reached Whitehorse. It was here that our path diverged from the Alaska Highway and we began the northward journey on the Klondike Highway. Last night we found a great campsite along Fox Lake where we took the opportunity to get out the kayak. The big draw to taking this route is the chance to visit the historic gold rush town of Dawson City. In addition to Dawson City, the route gives you the chance to drive the scenic 127 kilometer top of the world highway and cross into the United States at the most northern land border crossing. From the unique town of Chicken, the Taylor Highway would bring us back to the Alaska Highway. This alternate route is about 125 miles longer than taking the Alaska Highway, but the sights along the route more than make up for it. any fish but they're trying to catch them anyway what you catching nolan Actually, there's a sticker in the water catching some rocks well be careful don't mess up their net okay do you make some new do you make some new friends something underwater Come and get it. A blue thing. What is this round thing? Huh? What is this round thing? Uh, I have no idea. A wishing wheel. A wishing, a wishing wheel. wheel. Might have been shallow or Yeah, I have no idea. Might have been shallow here. So I just came out here and I noticed one of my tires is looking low. So I came over to look a little closer. And there is a screw in one of the treads. So we're gonna have to find somewhere to get that fixed. So I was led to believe by reading online that if you have a dual axle, you could get the first tire up off the ground and that would raise the other one. So I made this little ramp, but I've got it like six inches off the ground and the back tire is still sitting flat on the ground, so that's Obviously not going to work. I'm going to have to get out the jack and jack it up, which I was trying to avoid. thing you can count on on any long RV trip is something will go wrong at some point and hopefully this is the only thing that goes wrong because it's always an inconvenience and it always happens when you're in the middle of nowhere which we are we're in the Yukon hundreds of miles south of Dawson City at the moment so we're gonna have to find a place to get this tire fixed I'm having a real hard time getting this thing up. I don't know if my jack is adequate for this job. It's the jack we had with our pop-up and it might not be beefy enough. Although I am, I don't know what to do. So he's trying a different angle. I'm gonna jack it up by the axle instead. Bugs are terrible. Yeah, there's like flies and mosquitoes and things like swarming you.
I need to check the tire pressure in this one first. Fifty PSI. Yeah, we're at fifty. That's good. I always try to lay my bolts out in the same pattern as the tires so that I put them back in the same spot just because they're used to the thread that they were on. Yeah, this is why uh, we usually don't let the kids eat ice cream in the car. Found a place here in Carmax. A guy, local guy, is going to fix our tire hole, and we'll get it fixed up and get back on the road, and we'll have our spare back, so we'll have a little peace of mind, and everything looks good to go. Dawson City on the banks of the Yukon River was founded at the end of the 19th century and was at the center of the Klondike Gold Rush. The author Jack London once spent time here and some of his greatest works like Call of the Wild feature Dawson City. The town still retains its frontier charm with many buildings featuring the false front architecture that was popular at the time.
This looks like an old livery stable or, oh, it's a sawmill or something. It's got a saw blade up there. Look at all this stuff. Just a bunch of old parts to stuff. What do you see? Okay, we're in Dawson City and it's a really neat old town. Lots of old buildings, cool stuff to look at. So we're enjoying our time, but we're really hungry and all the restaurants here are extremely expensive. And uh, with lots of mouths to feed, we decided we're just gonna go back to our camper and eat. There's the Yukon River in Dawson City. We've been walking around the downtown, which is pretty cool. It's over 100 years old from the gold rush days. Um, we're gonna take the ferry across after we're done eating dinner, and that will take us to the top of the world highway, which will bring us to our final destination of Alaska. We look like street people. We're cooking in the streets and everything. Because we're too cheap to buy food in this town. <laughs> um, we don't want to pay ten dollars per kid for a grilled cheese. <laughs> Guess what time it is? We're in Dawson City and it's ten o'clock. Dawson City, where? Canada. Yukon. <laughs> we are waiting in line here to take the ferry across the Yukon River. Um, there's a campground on the other side. We're hoping to get in there for the night and then we'll do top of the world highway tomorrow. What do you think of the ferry ride? Kylie's seasick. Kylie's seasick? River sick. Kylie, out of the sea. Do you really feel sick? Your belly hurts? Oh. Hold it. I'm not even looking at it. You like it? Yeah. We are driving the top of the world highway. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's still broad daylight out. The sun's out. We are trying to find a cool boondocking spot to stop for the night. We can't cross the border because the border station closes at 9 p.m. So we're gonna try to find a place before the border, stay the night, and get up in the morning. We'll be in Alaska.
This might be the most epic boondocking spot we've had yet. We are at a pull off along the top of the world highway and we are literally on top of the world. We're on a mountain ridge and there's just mountains as far as you can see in the distance. The sun's setting at after 11 p.m. sometime. It's just absolutely beautiful up here. I want to kind of give you an idea like a 360 view where we are up here. It's just absolutely amazing right now. I'm on this rock outcropping up above everything. 360 degree view. There's our camper in the background behind me.